Red Sox, who lost over 100 games. Yes, uncharacteristically for the Bobos, they lost over 100 games. And they're going up against the American League champion of 1965, the Minnesota Twins. The Minnesota Twins won over 100 games. Now, this is a mismatch Monday by request. Somebody said he wanted to see a, uh, a matchup from the 60s. So, um, yeah, I think 1965 qualifies. And he said he just wanted to be surprised. So I picked this one uh, out of my butt. And this one is going to be a true mismatch in the truest sense. And I got a different setup today. As you can see, I've got the computer screen up. But I also have the... Um, the card and dice. We're going to be doing it card and dice. We're going to use the computer for visuals and for tracking the statistics and for tracking the players so that, you know, who's up and everything so that I don't have to do that with a score sheet. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to roll manually, input what happens, and then we're going to go from there. So as you can see in today's pitching matchup for the Boston Red Sox, the homestanding Red Sox, it'll be Bill Monbuquet, as you can see down there in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. He's out there ready to go. And for the uh, Minnesota Twins, it's going to be Camilo Pascal. So without further ado, and the Minnesota lineup, you can see, is up in the right upper right-hand corner. That's... Uh, Zolio Versailles at shortstop, Rich Rollins at second, Tony Oliva in right field, Harmon Killebrew at third base, Don Mincher at first, Paul in center, and Bob Allison in left, Earl Beatty at catcher, and of course Pascal batting, because this is 1965 and there was no pitcher bat. So, that's the lineup facing Mon Bouquet, and let's get on with it. We're going to do the swing away, and um, I am going to do the roll, roll the dice. And we have a 6-3 on Mon Bouquet's card, which is going to be a ballpark single. So, let's go. Uh, it won't be, so it is. So, in fact, it is going to be... Um, and out. So I go line out for a uh, for a right-handed batter. It is going to be a line out to shortstop. So let's find a line out. And uh, yeah, uh, let's see. shortstop. And then hit OK. That is an out. So they, that's recorded, and now Rich Rollins. Hot dog! So this is going to be a little slow, slower going than usual, but I think it's uh, it's a nice effect. So Rich Rollins is up, and he gets a six-seven on Mon Bouquet, and that is going to be a ground ball to the second base, and then the X four is going to be an out. Ground ball to the so a ground out to the second base. And that's okay, and then we're moving on. And then, uh, you know, I, on second thought, what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit out this in between. So, anyway, here's Tony O'Lee. And uh, we'll go roll the dice for him. And he gets a 4 7. 4 7 on Mon Bouquet is going to be a line out to second. And so now the uh, Twins are in the field, and uh, the lineup will be the Boston lineup. As you can see in the upper right-hand corner, there's the Boston lineup. It'll be uh, Lenny Green leading off and playing center field. Dalton Jones at third base. Carly Estremski will be in left. Yes. Uh, Felix Mantilla will be at second base. Uh, Thomas is the first baseman. Canigliero in right. Bob Tillman at catcher. 
Rico Petroselli at shortstop and Bill Mon Bouquet, the weak hitting by, uh, uh, Bill Mon Bouquet. Batting night and doing the pitching. So we will find out what happens here with Lenny Green. And that is a 5 5 on Pascal. And he is a left handed hitter. And that is going to be a strikeout. Next batter is Dalton Jones. Game year books, minutes, and programs. Hopefully, I'm not going to need it. We'll roll the dice. That is a 5 8 on Pascal. Peanut, and peanut, get your peanut be there. Strikeout as well. So Pascal whiffs the first two batters. And that brings up Yags. Ready to input what happens with him. That is a 6-5, six, 6-5 five, six, five on Pascal is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop X. We will uh, determine what that is. He is a shortstop 2, that is a 20, that is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. are back at the plate as we have a and let me see if I can move this into a more even place because you can see the scoreboard now and you can see the board where I'm rolling and Harmon Killebrew is up against Mon Bouquet we have a 0-0 game after one that is a 4-6 that is going to be a ground ball to the first baseman and it's out. So, ground out to first base. And, you know, and as I go, I'll get a little better at this. Don Mincher is now the batter. And he gets a 6-5 and 6-5. Mon Bouquet versus lefty is a ground ball shortstop. And the shortstop for the uh, for the Red Sox is Petroselli and he's a three. That is a seven. Seven and three is an out. So that's a ground out to the shortstop. Jimmy Hall, that brings up Jimmy Hall with, I believe, two down, right? And that is a 1-2, and that is going to be a ground ball, second base, plus injury. Peanut, it, in it, get your peanuts here. And, but we have to replace uh, Jimmy, we have to replace Jimmy Hall in center field. He was the center field. We're going to make that replacement. center fielder and up to play is Felix Mantia for Boston. So they need an input. Let's give it let's give it to him. That is a four five on Pascal. It's gonna be a fly ball center field. So that is a fly out. 
center field. One down. And Lee Thomas is the batter for the Bobo. And that is a 4-7. 4-7 on Pascal is going to be Thomas is aboard, and Tony Canigliaro is the batter with one down. And that is a 6 8 on Pascal, and that's going to be a ground ball third base. Beat. Was to first base. All right, so Canigliaro is at first, and that brings up Bob Tillman. Okay, we're here in a 0-0 game between the 65 Red Sox and the 65 Twins. And uh, that's a 4-5, and he is a right-handed batter. And that is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. What? I looked back in my archives. I had thought I had done this game before, but it turns out I had never done this game. So, Enid, Enid, get your peanuts here. Righty against the righty, and that's going to be a ground ball to third base. Ground out, third base. I'm, I'm getting good at knowing where the, uh, where the ground ball is because that's what's happening. And that brings Pascal to the plate. He is a seven hitter for a pitcher. But he gets a five, six. And that on right against right. And that is going to be, actually, that is going to be a single. To the top, rack to the top of the order with Versailles. Versailles, however you can pronounce his name. Versailles. 410, <laughs> he is a righty, and that is going to be a fly ball to center field X. Oh. So Petroselli gets himself a leadoff. Sally's aboard with um, Bill Monquette up, and they are going to sacrifice Monquette.
They're going to walk Lenny Green to set up the double play. Probably. Peanuts, Peanuts, get your Peanuts here. God's way of doing it. They're going to set up the double play. So it doesn't work. It backfires and a run comes in. And, uh, and what was that? Ground ball B to the pitcher. So Boston takes a lead here and now has Carly Estremsky up with a man at first base. Six seven six seven. He is a lefty um, going up against Pascal, and that's ground ball second base X. That is a twelve. The second baseman is Rollins, and he is a four fifty nine. It's right up there on the board. I don't even know why. But anyway, that's a that's a twelve and a four. That's going to be an, a one base error on the second base. So one base error. Five in the second base. So Don Mincher with a man at second and two down. And he gets a 1 4, which is a ground ball to first base. Um, so Mincher is out, and we're going now to the bottom of the fourth with Tony Canigliero. We are struggling along here, going to the fourth inning. Arrow gets a 6-7. He is a righty, and that is going to be a ground ball. Second base X. The second baseman is, again, uh, a 4, and it's Rich Rollins. Um, 20 and 4, and that is going to be ground ball B. Round out to second base. One down, and Bob Tillman. In 
peanuts. Peanuts, get your peanuts here. Five, seven on Pascal. There's going to be a strike. Petroselli with two down here. And he gets a 1-8, and that is going to be a ground ball second base. And Boston now has a lefty inning without getting So, Joe Nasek is the batter. Now, Joe Nasek came on for the uh, injured, uh, I believe, Bob Allison. Bob Allison. And so he is getting his first bat of the game. And he gets a 2 11 against the uh, righty. And that is going to be a foul out. Allison is the batter. And he gets a 6-12, and a 6-12 for a righty against a righty is going to be a single to left field. Beatty is up. Came here for minutes and program. And a man aboard. And he gets a 5-12. He's a righty. That is going to be a ground ball first base. The first baseman is a 3 e 25 That is a left. And that is going to be an E1. So the Twins have two guys on here. Batter seven. We're going to let him hit. The twins are going to let him hit. And that is a one seven. That's a strike. I guess they had a little too much faith in batter seven there. Uh, strike out with batter seven pitcher. Say we're back to the top of the lineup for the Twins. And they get a 5-8 and a 5-8 on Mon Bouquet. Righty righty is a pop up to short. And so Mon Bouquet is the batter. Now he is really pitching a great game, so they're gonna let him bat here in the bottom of the fifth. Plus he wants the decision if they hang on and win this game. That's a 6-5 for a right-handed batter, and that is going to be a ground ball short. Their shortstop is Versace. He's a 2-E-40. 15 at shortstop is going to be on his E rating, and it's a 40, so not good. 6, and uh, that is going to be, that's going to be an E-1. So they left the pitcher on with an error. Air by peanuts, peanuts, get your peanuts here. The twins are playing a really sloppy game here. Lenny Green is the batter. That is a 4-3. Uh, and he is a lefty. And 4-3 is going to be a um, ground ball to the pitcher. And the pitcher is a He's a one. So it's 
going to be on your D rating and D rating for tens. So we're going to roll the two dice. That's an 11. Shortstop. Shortstop is a 2E40. That's a 16. We'll take a look. That's going to be on his E rating. 40 and a 4 is going to be an E1. So Dalton Jones is aboard by an error. There's one base error by Versailles. Fielding is not that good, let's say that. Let's just say that about him. So Jones is aboard and Yastrzemski is the batter. And he gets a 1-6. And a 1-6 against a righty is going to be, in this case, a double. And we can send the lead runner. And the lead runner is Jones again. And he's a 15, so we're definitely going to do that. And let's see. So it would be, I'm going to say it's to left field. And the left fielder's arm is a negative 1, so it would be a 1-14. We'll roll for that. He does barely make it. You beat it there. And so the Red Sox get another run on a double by Yastrzemski. Double, and Jones scores. Versailles is the batter against Mon Bouquet. It is 3-0 Boston. And that is a 3-7 righty on righty. And that's going to be a fly ball center field. So we have a fly out to the center field. And Oliva is the batter with one down. And that is a 3-11, and that is going to be a single. Oliva works himself a single. No, not a hit, a single. Game year books, minutes, and programs. He gets a 5-5 on Mon Bouquet, and he is a right-handed batter. And that is going to be a triple. That is a triple, my friends. And the Twins are back in this game. And Killebrew is only 90 feet away. 
and Don Mincher was up. So I said last inning when I let um, Mon Moquette hit that he was pitching well, but he, that's no longer the case. 6-5, he is a lefty, and that is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop is a 3-E34. E that is a 19 shortstop 3. That is going to be a ground ball A. Nasik again on and replacing Allison, who was injured earlier in the game, but started the game. 4 7 for a righty, and that is going to be a ground ball shortstop. A, and that will be the final out. They only get one. No, wait, it's not Bob Allison. Is it here? No, it wasn't Bob. I keep saying it was Bob Allison. Was anyway, Nasik is on for somebody. But anyway, uh, Canigliaro is the batter here in the bottom of the sixth. Against Pascal, who's still out there because the game is only 3 1. Not out of hand in any way. 6 6, and he is a righty, and that is going to be a pop out to first. Out. And the good thing about doing this is that I can get all, I can show you guys the box score, how everybody did, all the errors that Zolio Versace made this game, uh, you know. Um, Bob Tillman is the batter. He gets a 4 7. He is a righty. That is going to be a walk. Game your books, minutes, and program. One down and one on. And that is a 4-8. Four 4-8 eight. Four eight for Rico Petroselli is going to be a... That's a single. So Pascal is really not pitching. Second base. Second baseman is Mantia. He is a 4E20. That is a 7. 
seven at second base, four is in ground ball six. Outs here, you, they're going to figure they're probably not going to start a rally, so they'll just let him bat. And he gets a 311, and he's a good hitter anyway, and he gets a walk. So he works a walk anyhow. And he is aboard for Versailles, who has made a ton of errors today and needs to make up for that right here with something big. 1-6, and boy, did he not get it. <laughs> because he's against a righty, so it is going to be a strike. short and that's for size again and that is a 17 shortstop two and that's a ground ball a finally he makes the play and gets somebody out uh, ground out to shortstop and mantilla is the batter and he gets a 210 ballpark single and it is. It turns out that is a single. And Lee Thomas is the batter. Boston trying to start another rally here. And that is a 2-7 and that is going to be a round ball second base. Now, Richie, as you saw, he is a three-inning reliever, so he is, and he pitched 71 innings in 1965, so he's good for this. Rich Rollins gets a 5-4. He is a righty. That is going to be a ground ball. Third, Jones is a 4 -E. Hot dog! Hot pack! Hot dog! We're going to look at the chart. That is a 1, so you got to believe that's going to be a 1. It is. It's a 6. is going to be a strikeout. Team your books, minutes, and programs. Killebrew gets a 1-9. That is going to be a strikeout as well. So Richie, now he's not playing game. is the hitter. So the Twins thought maybe they would start something here in the eighth. That's a 1-3 though. That is going to be a that's a ballpark single and yes it is. So that's a single to center field. is a batter. And 
Classic gets a 2 5, and that is going to be a strike. And Canigliero is the batter. You know what? The Twins are going to make a pitching change right now. Bring in Al Worthington. on to pitch to Canigliano. The game again, only 3-1. Now that is a 2-3 against a, he is a righty. That is going to be a ballpark home run, but it's a 20. So it's actually going to be a 20. And uh, let's just see what it is. Extend their lead, but they didn't. And then Tillman is out there. So that is a 2 5. That is going to be a ball. Redats, and that's going to be a ground ball shortstop. Patrick Selly is a three. That is a 19. 19 and three is an out. That's a ground out to shortstop. Beatty is the batter. Earl Beatty up. He gets a 310. Ballpark single, except it won't be because it's an out. So it's going to be a line out for the shortstop. And that brings up the pitcher, Steve Valdespino. Game year books, minutes, and programs. The, uh, dice. Let's see what he gets. That is a 2 6, and that is going to be, friends, a pop out to the shortstop. Pop out to the fielder, the shortstop, and that is it. And that is the game. Here is the box score. We'll get the box score for the game. So I'll let you take a look at that. Um, let's see how many errors. Errors, Versailles made three. Rollins made one. Thomas made one. And so the Bean Towners, the Red Sox actually end up winning this game 3-1, to one, even though they were severely outmatched by the world, not the world champion, but the American League champion, uh, Minnesota Twins. And so that will be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.